Right, hello everyone. It's time for another game of Black Powder. I have a guest today. We have Ken from Miniature Wargaming Warriors. I'm back. He's back nearly a year after the last game. And uh, he's come back for seconds. Yeah. So we're going to be playing a large game, or large for here, any game uh, of Black Powder. And it's going to be a defensive game for the allies who are going to be defending this ridge line here. So they have an escarpment. The French are going to be marching up that. On the other side of the board, many fields. We have um, ones that are protected by hedges and obstacles. We have a chateau on this side of the board, which the British will be defending as well. So this is a bit of a replay of the scenario I played against Haley, which I think we called Breakthrough. So the French objectives, there are three main objectives. One is to take the area up here where we've got the, uh, the fortifications. This is that objective there. That's worth five victory points at the end of the game. We also have the chateau itself. That will be worth five victory points at the end of the game as well. Also, for every battalion that Ken can get off the board, there will be two additional victory points. They have to exit by the British side. That will represent them overrunning the British positions. And then there is also one victory point for all shaken units and two victory points for all units that have broken. So there's quite a lot of points up for grabs. We're playing seven turns. Um, we both have reserves. My reserves will be arriving on turn three. Ken's will be arriving on turn four. Ken's gonna has got three brigades that will be entering the board. They will be marching onto the board. I'll have two brigades that will be deployed on the board at the start and the first turn will be going to the French because they are attacking. How do you feel? I feel very good. And it's just like a payback for last year. So the second game is just... He's scary. only our second game. He's only at well, oh, no, our second game. game. It's our third game third because game. We, we did play the one um, that was <laughs> over, um, not Zoom, um, Steam. So um, what we're going to do, we're going to get deployed. Ken's forces will not be deployed on the table at the start. Very simply, his brigade commanders will be placed where he wants those brigades mm -hmm. to enter. So basically, it's down to me to get the, uh, the forces on the board. And then we'll come back to you and we'll get started. Okay, so deployment has been done. Well, British deployment, really. Yes. Um, I'll, uh, I'll roll through what I've done. So up on the escarpment, we have a brigade of Hanoverians. Now, these guys always seem to do really well when I'm playing as the French. Uh, so hopefully they're <laughs> going to do well this time. So over here, we have a line battalion of Hanoverians. We have another line battalion of Hanoverians. And we have another line battalion of Hanoverians. <laughs> Supporting them, we have a half battery right there. And we have a full battery of cannons there. Now, they're obviously in a fortification, so they're going to be getting some really good saves to their morale. Yes. Their colonel is just here. Uh, leading the army uh, is Wellington, who's in this position. I've just realised I've precariously placed him next to a rocket, so um, hopefully that won't um, <laughs> that, that won't go badly. Oh dear. Um, down here we have the second brigade. Now this is a, a fairly um, small brigade for um, for the British. On the right we have the 32nd Cornwall Regiment. In the centre we have the Coldstream Guards, so they're going to be sort of well i'm going to be relying on them quite a lot and you probably can't see these guys too well but they are in here there we go there they the little are little green bastards the little green bastards are in there <laughs> there are the 95th rifles so uh hopefully they are going to be doing um some action as well on the french side of things ken what have you done there's one commander <laughs> you have one <laughs> commander over here <laughs> yeah oh i recognize him yeah I wonder who that's oh, that's, uh, that's one of mine. Yes, yeah. one of mine. <laughs> one of yours. Let's see the lancers. Yes, and then another one of mine. Ah, uh, yes. There's your your uh, Christmas. So I can assume the Italians are coming in on this flank then. Yeah, I don't know where your Bushido miniature went to, Steve. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes, yes. We're we'll having words. If he ever watches this Black Powder report, you never know. So there is the setup for the game. Um, let's see. It's going to be seven turns. It's going to be a lot of French coming up that hill, um, and I've got to try and hold that. So we're not going to muck about. We'll just crack on with it and get into French turn one.
Right, okay, so some stuff happened. Yeah. Why don't you start uh, sort of by explaining? So what happened over here? Not what I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, we'll put this out there now because this could be game changing. I rolled two ones out of the dice and Brian was like, I don't know whether to let you have that. He's like, nah, fuck it, roll it yeah. in the thing. <laughs> yeah, in the tray, in the in tray. tray, in the and, tray. And then I rolled an eight, but he's got his little bonus. Um, so I've, I've got him to come on. And oh yeah, so yeah, Ken's right. We should probably say yeah. for the first time in these battle reports, we've actually rolled for some some qualities on the commanders. Oh, nice. So you roll, and then whoever gets the highest on your side gets a random quality. So Ken rolled, and it's this chap um, over here, okay. and his roll uh, quality, sorry, is that he is headstrong. So that means that if he is the f <coughs> first commander to be given to be giving orders that turn, he can add one to his staff rating. However, he can never ever benefit from the general's reroll, which is that's quite pretty bad actually. That's that, well, I say yeah. bad. It's quite well. You could have used that reroll. Um, also, he blunders on an eleven or a twelve, so that yes. could be fairly big. On my side, it was the Hanoverian commander who uh who got a trait and his is that he's hesitant um now that might not be particularly game-changing for me but basically if he um if he rolls somewhere and the they would get free orders he has to re-roll that um however if the general is with him then he doesn't so i'm not actually planning on moving very far this game so um <laughs> that hopefully won't be a problem anyway sorry yes ken back to uh, what you were saying so over here so did this guy here they just that brigade just moved on didn't they and formed attack yes. columns yeah that's it they just literally they've got some cannon at the back here for that brigade as well um same with this brigade just here uh, I've got some houses with this one instead, uh, just for the fluff and the flavour. They're magnetised, so I can change them out. Uh, but this is the original unit I painted, do you remember? The 30th. Yeah, the original unit, and they held out really well last time. So they're at the back? Yeah, they're at the back. They're, on, they're in the reserve. Is that, so, who's that? Is that the Irish? Is... Uh, no, the Irish are coming in. Oh, yeah. they're in reserve, are they? Yeah, okay. they're in reserve. So we have another brigade in attack columns there, but yeah. you know, they, there's a long way for them to go. That's quite yeah. a hill that they've got to get up. That is quite a hill, but then... Over here, <laughs> out on the flank, doing their own thing. The Italians uh, seemed a bit more up for it, so they've uh, advanced up. I've got three uh, regular battalions, and I've also got a small unit of skirmishers there to try and take out the 95th Rifles. So, this should be okay. Well, it is a bit of an interesting battlefield, isn't it? Because we've, uh, you know, we've got a, yeah, we've got quite a bit over here that we can um, we can play around with. So, all right then, so straight into French shooting. So what are you gonna try and shoot with? I don't think you can actually shoot with no, anything. I'm in, the you're... I'm in range of the cannons, uh, but that's it. What's, a... it what's, the, what's the normal musket range? Uh, musket range is 18 inches. Oh. Yeah, you can go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can go Might for well. it, why not? Okay, so your, your Italian. Two. Oh, these are not two, are they? These would be more than two, because it's a small, is that three dice? Uh, I will double check, but Italian skirmishers are going to be firing at the cold stream guards. Yes, they are. Okay, so it's going to be two shots hitting on fours, re-rolling one miss for sharpshooter. Ooh. Okay, so that's both hit and a disorder. Yes. Uh, fortunately, the cold stream guards are elite, uh, so I need two saves of three. Two saves of three. Uh, one casualty. Okay, so that is the end of French turn one. A little bit of disorder there for the cold stream guards to sort out. And then over here, um, we've got the main French attack, but that's uh, over there at the moment. So I've got a little bit of time to uh, to deal with that. They've got to come marching up that hill and actually take on the Hanoverians. So we're going to have to deal with those. Uh, so we'll just go into British turn one. Okay, so some things happened on the British side. Obviously, there's not a great deal point of me moving very far. So the Hanoverians have mostly held position, um, except this 
battalion here, which has moved up to support this one. I think inevitably there is going to be some hand-to-hand -hand combat. Ken's got to try and t get me off of this um, escarpment, off this hill. So um, he will be trying to assault, and I assume that's why he's in assault columns over there. So um, basically, these guys have moved up to support against the attack when it eventually comes. Over on this side, the Coldstream Guards didn't manage to get rid of their disorder. Um, they are elite three plus, and I rolled a two. I've decided to just keep my men in a defensive line. I don't want to be drawn into um, uh, basically attacking him. However, over here, the 95th Rifles have moved from their position behind the hill, uh, behind the hill, behind the hedge, sorry, and they've moved into the chateau. They now count as occupying this whole area here. So Ken will have to assault it from the other side if he actually wants to get them out. So they can just be in there and be annoying. Of course, they're going to get all sorts of decent defense uh, bonuses to their morale for being in a building. So hopefully they can hold him up for a couple of turns. Um, overall, not a lot of movement, but we're going to go into some British shooting. And I think we're going to start with the rockets. Okay, so the rocket is going to target the light infantry just there. Um, it's well within range. It has a range of 60 inches. So I get one dice and I'm just looking for a six to hit. If I fail, then uh, we get to um, we get to roll on the misfire chart. So, misfire chart. so one dice needing a six. Yes. No, two. So roll on the misfire chart. Get a... A four, well, that were five. Okay, so I'm gonna be rolling a scatter dice and it's gonna be going in that direction. So it's going that way. And it's gonna be going six inches. So it's, go it's going into that unit there. So the aiming point was them. It's going into that unit there. Oh, no. So um, I believe they are automatically disordered and we'll roll for the hits. As it's been pointed out, I didn't roll the dice in here. Um, <laughs> the scatter dice is fine because we always roll that near the units. A four, so it still hits that yeah, unit, but just, just, just because, you know, I'm not gonna, ha I'm not gonna have it said that I'm, you know, that I, I won't, I won't see through on that. So it's a four. So yes, it still hits that unit. Yay! So a single save of six for the rocket. Okay. No, so it's one casualty, and the other units there are disordered on a further roll of a six, by me. Oh yeah, by <laughs> you. Okay, so it's going to be four or more to hit. That's because it's artillery over half range, which makes it a five. However, I am shooting at a column. Um, an attack column still counts as a column. Uh, so it's one dice because they're over half range, hitting on a four. That is a miss. That's annoying. Uh, we'll move over to the next cannon battery. Um, and this cannon battery, um, I don't like this. the fact that this brigade over here hasn't had anything done to it. So I'm going to fire at this unit here. Um, it's going to be exactly the same. One dice hitting on a four. Looking for a four. That's a hit. Um, so a single save of five because it's over half range. No. Nope. So a casualty. Now, so that's the, that's, I will, um, I think the Coldstream Guards are going to fire back at those skirmishers. They didn't like getting shot out. I realise I've just shot out a sequence as well, but, um, that's right. so what I'll do, I'll fire with the Coldstream Guards. I'm going to fire at these skirmishers here. Uh, the skirmishers are not a clear target, so that's going to be fives. I've got first fire and I'm disordered. Um, so the Coldstream Guards normally have a shooting of four. First fire, I'll make that shooting five. So that's going to be five dice hitting on sixes because I'm disordered. Okay, so I'm looking for sixes. Two sixes. So they're disordered and two hits. Um, they're in color, so it's going to be two saves of three. One. one save, so one casualty and they're disordered. 95th rifles, which count as occupying this whole area, including the building, are going to fire with their two dice. Um, they don't have to shoot at the skirmishers because they're not a clear target, so they don't have to pick them. Um, so they're going to fire at the unit behind. They're going to fire both dice at them. Um, they are going to be hit. Am I in six? They're in six inches of the building. That could be nasty if they are. Yes. Okay, so uh, that's going to be hitting on freeze. 2d6, hitting on freeze, re rolling one miss. I'll take both those hits. Two saves of four. Uh, another casualty. Okay, so that's the end of the British turn one. A couple of um, pieces of disorder put out on the French side. Um, not as much as I'd have liked. Um, but to be fair, when these battalions over here are marching up the hill, I think there's going to be plenty more um, fire coming from 
the Hanatherians here. Um, over on this side, managed to disorder the skirmishers, but didn't manage to put any disorder into the main Italian attack. So um, I fully expect they're going to be coming and having some hand-to-hand -hand combat with the 95th. Right then, so we will go into French turn two. Stuff happened. Yay. Yep. All right. Well, we'll start with the bad. All right. We'll start with the bad stuff. So the Italians didn't move. The Italians didn't move, did they? Can they didn't go anywhere. No, so sad. Yep. So nothing from the Italians. What you did try to do is you tried to charge um, and assault the building, but it was a it was a failure on the order roll, and because the Italian commander is so far away from Napoleon, he just can't get the reroll. No. So that attack on that flank is slightly stalled for you. However, you can give a lot of fire on the building. You can just fire that is the a point. lot there. And you might, I mean, they've only got a stamina of two. So um, when possible. you're shooting into there, you might actually be able to dislodge them. Um, what happened in the center? So the center kind of like took it, yeah. So I did an individual. So the first here, first light uh, moved up one move. And uh, these guys, they moved up two, but obviously they're the sword, so I couldn't move them. But now my cannon can come into play. Yeah, the cannon now got a bit more. But over on this flank... Yes, uh, it kind of worked quite well. <laughs> so the whole, the, the whole battalion, I rolled a three. So they've all moved up, and uh, yeah, they are... One massive brigade order, and, and they one assaulted. Casualty, didn't you? I've done one casualty in closing fire. However, this um, battalion now has to defend against two loads of hand-to-hand -hand combat attacks. However, I am in fortifications. And one of them's light infantry as well. And one of them's light infantry, so it's it, it could be all right. So it's going to be interesting. I have a support here, so obviously we'll be doing that close combat last. So shooting-wise, where would you like to start? Start with the cannons, I think. Start with the cannons, okay. And which cannon battery uh, do you want to start I'm with? I'm going to start with this battery here. Yep. Yeah. And I am going to put some fire. I suppose on it's going to have to be the Hanoverians. The Hanoverians. Okay. Yes. Right. We'll work out the uh, what you need, and then we'll come back. Okay. So to hit the Hanoverians, it's going to be one dice hitting on a five. Yes. Oh, that's pretty big. Um, I am going to be saving on a four, I think, because I'm in fortifications. But I will check. Okay, so I'm actually saving on a free. That's because the unit is in fortifications, which gives them plus two to their save. Their save is normally four, so that's two or more. And the cannon modifier at um, over half range is minus one, so one save of three. No? <laughs> so, so still, after all that, it's still a casualty. It's still now, a casualty. Adam. Still a casualty. Um, yeah, you can fire with your assault attack column. It's 18, yeah? It's 18, get one dice, but you can still shoot. Not for them. They're in. They're in, so who are they going to shoot at? Uh, they they shoot at the Hanoverians. They shoot Actually, the no, tell a lie. They shoot at that brigade over there. Uh, who are they? Who are they? Uh, the 32nd. Yep. Okay, you shoot at the 32nd. Yep. Um, it's going to be one dice looking for a four. No. No, one. Okay, so that's cannon. that. The cannon. So who's the cannon going to uh, shoot at? Have they see. got the option again? To do that. Um, it's whoever is the closest target they've got to shoot at. So if the Hanoverians are closest, then um, they have to fire at them. Uh, that's 33, and yeah, they're close. Okay, the Hanoverians. The Hanoverians, okay, so you're going to be minus one because they don't present a clear target, and you're minus one for firing over the heads of your own troops. So that's going to be um, a Sorry, six. No, six. Oh, six, yeah, six. Ah, uh, unlucky. <sighs> unlucky. So. That's all the shooting on that side, I yep. believe. Okay, what about over here? Uh, yes, we're going to go with skirmishes again. Are going to skirmishes at the Coldstream Guards. Yes. Okay, so you're minus one for disorder, so it's two dice hitting on fives, re-rolling one. Oh, did disorder them again, and that's two hits. I get two saves of three. Two saves of three. No, two casualties. 
that's not good. So the Coldstream guards are taking a bit of a uh, bit of a pounding there. So they've actually taken three casualties, but they've got a, a pretty high stamina. Um, so I've just got hope that I can get them uh, undisordered next turn using their elite ability. So uh, that was the skirmishers. Um, then we've got three line battalions, who I take it are all just going to shoot at the yes. 95th rifles who are in the building. Yeah, okay, start, I'll start, these? start with them. Uh, you're going to get three dice, and I'll work out what the modifiers are. Cool. Okay, so uh, you're within six inches, aren't you? Um, so six inches plus one to hit. You'll be hitting on threes. It's not a clear target, so you are hitting on fours. I'm just going to get major saves. Yep, so hitting on fours. One and a disorder. Okay, so I have a morale of four. The uh, building gives me a saver plus two, so one. one saver two. That's a save, so they are disordered though. Same with the next battalion, yeah. so uh, that's going to be three shots again, hitting on fours. Two hits. Two saves of two for the 95th. Both saved. Okay, and then the guys on the hill, uh, they're not within six, so they're going to be hitting on a five. Uh, fives, yep. Ooh, yeah. One hit, man. Already disordered. I need one saver too. Yeah. Yay, so one casualty. Okay, so one disorder and a casualty on the 95th. And I think... Is that all of it? Yes. That's all of it. Okay, so we are into hand-to-hand -hand combat over here for the... French and the Hanoverians. So you're going to get uh, six dice yep. for each battalion. Okay, so the French only do get six dice um, each. So for even the light infantry, they just have the bonus of being sharpshooters. The Hanoverians will have six dice going back, hitting on fours. The French are going to be hitting on threes. The Hanoverians do have a lot of support, though. So we'll do the French first. So the light infantry battalion has six attacks, hitting on threes. That is poor. One. <laughs> I need you to roll that. <laughs> Come on, Ken. Do the same again. Come on. You need freeze. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's really bad, isn't it? That's really bad. So overall, three hits. So the Hanoverians have six attacks hitting on fours. That uh, is one, two, three hits. So the Hanoverian saves will do first. So they've taken three hits. They're in fortifications, so they are saving on twos. One casualty. So uh, the French saves are on fours. Two casualties. They'll be taking a break check. They will. So here is the results. So the British, did, or the Hanoverians rather, did two casualties onto the French. They're also supported to their flank and to their rear. So they have a combat result of four. The French did one, uh, one casualty on the Hanoverians and they are only supported to their rear because it was both units that were fighting. So the British have actually won the combat by two. Um, the French are one casualty in excess of their stamina so they will be taking a break test minus one and hopefully they'll run away down the hill and take their friends with them. So um, that's actually no both are testing because both units were actually involved in the combat. Um, so which which one would you, uh, would you like them to? <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do the worst one first. So hang on a second. So that's going to be um, two D six minus one. Yeah, that's that's a nine. So they are they hold their ground. They're staying there. Um, but the other one, this is evens. Go on. Six. six. Um, so because that is in hand-to-hand -hand combat, they retire one full move to their rear without changing formation and at all times avoiding contact with the enemy. Once your move, you become disordered. And if unable to comply, the unit makes two moves to its rear if it's unable to reach a tenable position. So there we go. They had to retire down the hill. Um, and then this combat will go on in the next turn. So I think that's the end of French turn two. Um, it's a bit of bit of a mixed bag really isn't it's it it's a mare it's a mare it's, it's a mare um all your disorder now comes off and yes. um we go into the next british turn i need to hold out a little bit longer because my reserves will rev uh, arrive in my next turn not the one i'm about to do um so we'll go into this and see if i can now swing around and actually put some fire into um all of these pesky columns i hope not Right, 
okay, so that was pretty good for the British. So, most importantly, the Coldstream Guards managed to uh, get rid of their disorder, um, and they've marched forward to give fire and support the 95th, who are in that building. The 95th also managed to remove their disorder, um, and so they'll be giving fire. Over here, the 32nd Cornwall Regiment have spun round to uh, try and just aid the attack on the Hanoverians. Up here, the Hanoverians are quite happy where they are in this position, um, so they're going to carry on firing down the hill. This combat here will obviously go to another round. I think Ken's really hoping that his men don't break, because if they do, they're going to be taking a lot of grape shot from this cannon. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, we'll have to see what happens. So we'll go straight into British shooting, um, and I think we'll start over here. We'll start with the 95th Rifles are going to fire two shots into the line regiment behind the skirmishers. So that's going to be they're within six inches. Um, it's uh, two shots, and they're going to be hitting on freeze. So... Hitting on freeze, and I can reroll one for sharpshooter. So I'll reroll the one. They're disordered. They're disordered, and one save of four. They're saved, but most importantly, have stalled the attack. Next, the Coldstream Guards are going to fire at the skirmishers. I think we're in six inches. Um, so um, they're going to be hitting on freeze, and they get four dice. That's all hit and a disorder. <laughs> That'll be four saves of three. Two casualties, um, so they are shaken and they will be taking a break test because they're now in excess of their stamina limit, which I think is two. Yeah. Um, so we'll mark those, they'll be taking a break test at the end of the shooting phase. Um, now this unit here is going to be firing at the column, so they haven't fired yet, so with the first fire rule they're going to get four dice. Um, do I get a bonus for shooting at a column or is that just, I think that's just if artillery shoot at a column. Um, so it's just going to be four dice hitting on fours. That's uh, all but one, and they're disordered. Three saves of four. Oh, just the one that could have been big, but just one casualty. <laughs> so it's time to fire the rocket, and I think it's still got to go for the closest target, which will be that unit that's already disordered, but hopefully I won't hit it directly, and then it will scatter off into them behind it. So it's just a single dice, and I need a six. Nope, so it scatters off. Let's see what the misfire does. Um, it's going, that's uh, basically it veers off course, so that's, we need to scatter dice again, and then we roll to see how far it goes. Okay, scatter dice, it's veering off towards the trees. It's a four, so it goes that way 12 inches and just blows up somewhere over there near the trees. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> Next we're going to use these cannons here and they are going to be firing at that same regiment that is already disordered. They're now within 24 inches yeah. so I'm going to be using two dice uh, and I am going to be hitting on freeze I think because you're in a column. Come on, hitting on freeze. Uh, there's another hit, uh, it's a six so it's going to be a save of six. No, so one more casualty. So now the Hanoverians, we just measured this out, they are in range, so they are going to get three dice and they are going to be hitting on fours, no other bonuses. Ah, that's no, see that's it, that's, that's, that's the dice roll. Better. Yeah, that's the dice rolls coming back, isn't it? Okay, that's a pain. All right, we'll go over to this battery here. Um, they are, it would be so nice if they could just canister them in the side, but they can't. So I am going to fire um, can you just see who's near Ken? Is it the light infantry or is it the unit that's um, taken the disorder? 22 and 20. Disorder. Disorder. Okay, so they are going to be firing one dice because it's only a half battery. So one dice and it's going to be hitting on a three. That'll do. One save of six. Yeah. Oh, well done. Yes. Well done. Okay, so that's the end of the uh, Allied British shooting phase. So the only thing that's got to happen is the uh, the skirmishes over there have to take a break test. So 2d6 minus 1 for the excess casualty. Uh, they are very good. They're fine. So you lose the excess casualty, but they are shaken and disordered. Yes. Excellent. Okay, so oh, have a look over here. We will ha go into the combat. So Hanoverians fighting back. Six dice, they won the last round, so they are six dice needing freeze to hit. The French are getting six dice, however, they are shaken, so they're at minus one, so they've got six dice hitting on fives. Hitting on freeze for the Hanoverians, come on. Four hits. Hitting on fives for the light infantry. 
one hit. <laughs> I need one save or two for the fortifications. Saved. The French need four saves of four. Two more casualties. The uh, Hanoverians did two casualties onto uh, the French unit and they're supported to their flank and to their rear for a result of four. The French did no casualties and are only supported to their rear. They're already shaken, so they're going to be taking a break test minus two for the two excess casualties. Seven. Um, I think you may be holding your ground. I just need to check. Okay, yes, they hold their ground. He's actually an eight. I just clearly can't do maths. Um, so, uh, so yeah, they are they are staying there uh, regardless, and that fight is going to go on into the next turn. Um, so that is the end of the the British turn. Not a, not a great deal of change, but then all, all I'm trying to do is hold him off. If we look at things victory point wise, I hold five points for um, the hill, and I also hold five points for holding Chateau being on 10 i've shaken one of his units that makes it 11 so currently looking at the shape of things it's actually it's actually 11 nil at the moment at the moment you know we still got quite a few turns um so speaking of which we will now go into french turn three Hey Ken, do you want to describe what didn't happen uh, over here? Yes, yes. So I tried to assault once again with these. No, nothing. Ten. Yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> okay. So yeah, so what you trying to say? That whole brigade nothing. is is just there. They have not moved Come at on, all. Did you did well last time. I did all right, didn't they? It was only when there was one unit of them. Now that's what happens when you bring oh, <laughs> bring okay. a whole roll brigade. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, over there, that firefight will just continue. So the left flank isn't really moved. I'm holding that at the moment. Over here, what happened in the centre? Uh, not much again. These, these guys moved up one move, which was really great. No, no he yeah. tried to assault with his engineers. He's He's got engineers, which of course would be really helpful against these fortifications. Extremely However, good. they're sitting there in, uh, in, the, open. In, in the open, coming up the hill, which is obviously very tantalising. It might, might just like to say as well, it does look slightly um, sort of weighted here, you know, the British are defending. However, he does outnumber me <laughs> quite yes. significantly. Yes. Um, so obviously I'm holding out for um, returns. Line. And we did realise one other thing, which we should mention here, which is that Ken should have got a plus one to um, his uh, morale save. He's been in an assault column before. But we will remember that yes, from now on, won't we? You'll, you will never forget it again yes. anyway, so I might. Yes. Um, speaking of which... I mean, they luckily managed to move up. So. They managed to move up to carry on the combat and... And uh, Ken's commander here has moved in and removed a casualty. Um, over here, he did try to bring this unit here into line to fire against the uh, the Cornwall regiment. Um, however, they failed, and uh, his cannon moved up as well. Cannon have moved up, and they are going to be giving fire on these positions here. So we'll go straight into the French shooting. Ken, what do you want to fire with? Um, let's start with the cannon. I think. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. So. And what range have we got now, Martin? Are they within 24? Um, where's 24? No, not with them. No. Oh, actually, hang on. No, they're out. Just. Nope. just. You, you've done it. You just did a Haley. You've just pulled the fortifications <laughs> apart. Right. We'll fix the fortifications and then we'll get back to the cannons. So it's going to be one dice at the Hanoverians hitting on a five because it's over half range. Nope. Nope. Right, what do you want to fire with now? Uh, so these are going to have to shoot at the Hanoverians. Aren't they? So okay, so they're only going to get one dice yeah. because they're in a, they're in an attack column. So it's going to be one dice and you're going to be hitting on a four. Yeah, it's a hit and a disorder. That's I need needed. one save of two. No, got the, got the casualty. <laughs> got the casualty. Okay, so they've got two casualties. He's slowly, slowly adding to them. Um, who do you want to fire with now? You can maybe you can you can fire with them. Give them yeah. a disordered. Yeah, cannon's gonna fire at the Hanover. Okay, Hanover. so you're firing with one dice over the heads of your own men um, and over half range. So you're gonna have one dice and you are going to be hitting on a six. No. Nope. Okay, so who do you want to fire with now? Peace. At the Cornwall. These regiment. at the Cornwall Regiment. Well, we know they're in range. Um, you're disordered, so it's going to be a five. 
Yes. Well done. I need a single save of four. No nope. casualty on the Cornwall Regiment. Over here. Skirmishers at the Cold String Guards, I assume. Yeah, they are shaken. Okay, case so they are shaken. They are disordered. So it's only minus one because it's not cumulative. So it's going to be two dice. But you're within six inches. So you'd yes. be two dice. It would normally be hitting on fives, but you're within six inches. So you're just hitting on the four. One. Both hits. Two saves of three for the Cold String Guards. Oh, another casualty. Okay, so the Cold String Guards are now shaken with uh, four casualties. Um, who's next? Be this uh, line unit here. This line unit, yeah. Going to shoot the cold stream guards as well. Okay, so as on six this time, and you're disordered. Yeah. So it's going to be fives to hit. Yeah. One hit. I need one save of three. Yep. Yeah, fortunately. <laughs> fortunately. Uh, who's next? So. This unit here is going to fire at the 95th. At the 95th, okay, so um, you're within six inches of the building. They're not a clear target, that cancels it. So it's three dice and you're hitting on fours. Two hits and they're disordered. Two saves of two. Oh, oh, they are now shaken and disordered. Okay, so my battalion, my battalion there. Fire the 95th again. 95th again, okay, again. okay, they're not within six, so yeah, you're five. going to be hitting on fives. No. Nope. Damn it. Okay, so that was uh, that was a pretty successful turn of shooting. Fortunately, you've only shaken me there, so I don't need to take a break test. Um, and then over here, everything's sort of gone according to plan. So I guess over here, it's the uh, the ongoing combat. So um, the Hanoverians won the last round of combat, so they're going to be hitting on freeze. I am going to put all of my dice into um, this unit here. Yes. And um, you get six attacks with this unit. Uh, oh, sorry, seven attacks, because your commander yeah. uh, is in there. I really hope that he um, that, that, that breaks, because if he if he dies, <laughs> then that lot are, are gone. So um, I will um, we'll get those rolled. So you get um, seven attacks for your light infantry. Six for that one. Isn't it? And six for that one. Seven dice hitting on fours. Oh, uh, one, two, three, four hits. And the other ones, that's, uh, is that the 30th? They're um, yes. six dice hitting on threes because you charged. Yeah. Uh, three hits. Three so hits. seven hits overall. Six dice. <laughs> what was that? Completely <laughs> shit. Six dice <laughs> hitting on threes. All but two. So four hits. Seven saves of two for the Hanoverians. All but one. One casualty. Four saves of three because a plus one for being in the assault column. Yes! We're saved. Yes! <laughs> so after all that, the combat is a complete draw. Um, he did one um, casualty on me and he's supported over here. Disordered units still support. Um, I did no casualties, but I'm supported to my rear and to my flank for two. So it's two, two. There are no shaken units. So that is just going to rumble on. Um, into the next turn, so slightly disappointing. I think we we're both hoping there was going to be some uh, some some movement over it. there. <laughs> no. So these are the positions at the uh, the end of turn three for the French. As, as you right. can see, yeah, all your disorder comes off, and as you can see, everything's still to play for. A lot of pressure on my right flank. Centre's just kind of meh. meh for both of us, really. Uh, and then over here, um, the 95th and the Coldstream Guards are putting up a brave defence of the farm. Um, the good news is, is I have a load of reinforcements that are now turning okay. up, but I've got to now work out where I'm going to put them. Do I go over here to help relieve the farm, or do I try to reinforce the Hanoverians? So, the uh, and the old guard will be coming in after that. So <laughs> let's have a look, and we'll come back to you in a sec. Okay, so the reinforcements have arrived. So, it's got a whole lot busier on the board. 
a whole lot busier. So I, I was had a bit of a conundrum about where I was going to bring things on, and I'm I'm going to have faith that the Hanoverians are going to continue to hold this flank as well as they have been. So basically, I bought on the um, the it's four line battalions of British, including the Highlanders. Um, they've come on down the centre here and they've come to support both areas of attack. Um, so here we have the King's Own and the 42nd Highland Regiment. They're still in columns, so they're coming up the road. Then we have the 69th Lincolnshire Regiment that are moving to support the Coldstream Guard. And over here, the Triple X's, the 30th Cambridgeshire Regiment, have moved to support the Cornwall Regiment. Now, I might regret doing this because I know there's going to be some old guard coming on, um, but I'm hoping that basically through necessity, because you can't necessarily fit them anywhere else, they're going to come in through that field there. But we shall see. Um, none of my other battalions have actually done everything. anything. Everyone is where I want them to be. I'm playing a defensive game after all. Um, so we'll just go into shooting, and I think we'll just start over here and we'll give these Italians a damn good thrashing. So we'll start... <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with the uh, with the 95th rifles. They've got two shots. They are going to fire at the line regiment again. So they are going to be hitting on freeze. Looking for freeze. Can reroll one. They're disordered. Only one hit. You need a single save of four, Ken. Single save, but the important thing is the disorder. That's what I tell myself anyway. Uh, the next, we've got the Coldstream Guards. I'm going to try and see off those pesky skirmishers that have been um, sort of plaguing them a bit. Um, oh, sorry, I should have said the um, the Colonel joined the Coldstream Guards and did a rally order and removed them so they are no longer shaken. So I get four dice. I'm not firing at a clear target. So that's minus one, but I'm plus one for being at short range. So I'm just hitting on fours. Okay, I am looking for fours. They're disordered and free ones. Come on, no. So uh, you need a, you've got the uh, plus one bonus, so you need a save of three. Come on. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> no. No, come on. Yay. Yay. Four okay, dice but they are disordered. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> right, um, so that's all of the shooting just there. The Lincolnshire can't fire. Um, so carrying on with that brigade, the Cornwall Regiment will fire at this unit in an assault column here. Um, carry that on. So they are no longer have first fire. So they're going to get three dice and they are going to be hitting on fours. Okay, so three dice hitting on fours. Every single one a miss. Yes! <laughs> Uh, the rocket. The rocket is going to go. Uh, it's going to fire at the closest target, which I still think is going to be that unit there. So I will fire at them. Uh, if you could just check that for me, Ken. I don't really mind which one of your units it hits. Yeah, okay. So single dice, looking for a six. It's a miss. Let's see what happens. It's a six. So uh, it's again, it's just going to go off course. We'll use the scatter dice and then find out how far it goes. That way, that way. Do it on the road behind them because yeah, uh, uh, no, roll that again. Roll that again. <laughs> roll that again. Old, old Warhammer was like, it's a direct hit. And, and again. again, come on. Oh my Wait. goodness me. That's poor times, mate. Can we just say it hit them? No, you can't. <laughs> so that it's way. going that way. Oh, <laughs> this could be bad. So overshoot, it's overshoot, overshoot. 12 inches, please. Oh, yeah, no, hits right. the first unit in its path. No! So it strikes. Who's this? Uh, that's the engineers. Okay, the so they are now disordered. They have a single save of six to make, and then these guys become disordered on a six as well. So I'll just roll for them. Yeah. So the original target becomes disordered on a six. No. No, and you need a single save of six. Come on. No. No, it's a one casualty. Whee! Okay, so yes, cannons. The cannons are going to fire at that unit there that just took the disorder. They are the closer target. They are uh, under half range, so 24 inches. What's the grape shot range? Uh, grape shot is six. Um, oh, yeah, but, so uh, no, you'll be quite close for that. So I'm going uh, two shots. That's 24. I'm shooting at columns. So they are plus one to hit. So I've got uh, two shots hitting on freeze. Hitting on freeze. One hit. One save of six. Nope. 
And the variants are now going to have a go at that same unit. But there's no modifiers other than I'm at minus one for being disordered. So I've got three shots hitting on fives. Looking for fives. Oh! <laughs> oh dear. Oh, sorry. That might. Sorry. That that might just be my my play of the game. Although to be fair, I've just been beating the odds with that green dice. So yes, you need. Uh, you get a plus one bonus. So you need three saves of three. No, oh, they're just now one. shaken. And now the half battery is going to have a go as well. Um, it only gets one dice though at medium range uh, because it's been being because it is a half battery, um, and it's uh, it's shooting at column, so it's hitting on a three. I'll take that single save of six. No, one more casualty, and that will be a break test. Okay, so you've got one break test to take, because even though there's loads of disorder over there, no one is currently at excess casualties. So this one, uh, we've just looked it up, it's going to be a bit brutal, isn't it? Um, yeah. So, basically, um, we have... Um, one excess casualty means a break test is at minus one. They're disordered means it's at minus two. And some of those casualties were caused by artillery, which means it's minus three. So Ken, you are at two two D six minus three. Uh, ten minus three is a seven. I think they're gonna hold their ground, but I oh, will I just so. check. You hold your ground and do not move. So very lucky. So uh, you can take off the excess casualty, but they are still shaken and are still disordered. So um, painful. you need to get the old guard on, get them moving. Uh, we'll go back over to the hand-to-hand -hand combat. So there was no winner to the last round, so I don't get any kind of bonus there. So um, Ken gets seven attacks for this unit here, on, and then gets six attacks for this unit. I get six attacks going back. We are all hitting on fours. Seven dice looking for fours. One, two, three, four hits. Yep. And six dice hitting on fours. Uh, one, two, three hits. So seven hits overall. I'm going to split my attacks. And I'm going to put three into each unit. So I'll roll those separately. So first of all, the three attacks that are going into the unit that has a commander hitting on fours. That's two hits. And then the three that are going into the other unit. Two hits. Okay, so I need seven saves of two because of the fortifications. Um, and then Ken will need two saves for these guys on four and two saves for these guys on four. Okay, I'm looking for twos. Uh, two casualties. So they are now shaken. The one with the officer first, yeah? yeah. So two saves of four. Uh, one casualty, so they are now shaken again. And then the other unit, two saves of four as well. Another casualty on them, so we'll uh, we'll work out the result of that combat and get back to you. <laughs> okay, so um, the Hanoverians win the combat. That's because um, they only did um, one casualty to each unit, but they are supported to their flank and rear. It just goes to show how important it is to make sure you, that you're anchored, basically. Um, and the French did two casualties on the Hanoverians and are only supported to their rear. So they lost the combat by only one. Remember, it's a little different to Hail Caesar. The difference between the combat values doesn't mean anything. You just It just determines the winner. So both those French units are taking a, a modified break test. Now, this unit is shaken, but that doesn't make a difference. So we'll come over here. Uh, so the unit with the officer. It's turned out absolutely fine. They fight on. And then the other unit are not so fine no they're not good that's a that's a break and um i think your supporting unit's gonna have to take a break test as well okay so this unit needs to take a unmodified break test because they were the supporting unit so we are looking for uh just unmodified oh six they're gonna give ground i mean they are they are not enjoying the attack there so a six is, they must retire one full move and they become disordered. So the attack has faltered, but they've left their commander at the top of the hill at, on the barricades. On his own. I think I know where the old guard are coming. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is the end of British turn three. It's all looking good, but there are some French reinforcements coming in now. Thank God for that.
All right then, so <sighs> over here. They finally decided to assault. Yeah, they finally decided to assault. They, so they the Italians have moved up and these ones are just watching. They're just like, <laughs> watching from behind the hill. They're just, they're just eating macaroni. And then uh, <laughs> Ken wasn't happy with his situation. So no. he's brought in reinforcements, look. Say hello. 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 I was so, having a nap, but... Ken can also confirm that you do live here and you're not just some <laughs> yeah. person that I, <laughs> like, 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 I pay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so in the centre, you might be wondering where his unit went. It's over there because it blundered. Yeah. Um, he wanted to form a line and give fire against these. What they actually did was blunder and move left. But because um, it's this guy here, he couldn't take the re-roll. That was his headstrong trait. Um, and he blunders on an 11 or a 12. Um, over here, um, the colonel, he rallied, didn't he? Um, now, we don't know if you can rally when you're in combat. I couldn't find it quickly enough in the rule book. We've decided you can because he's there just encouraging them to go forward while everyone else has run away. That's what those guys are down yeah, there. Yeah, don't just tell us you can't. Tell yeah. us what page in the rule book. Yeah, yeah, what page, what page. Um, and then finally, he had big plans for his old guard who have come on. The middle guard are going to assault this cannon. Someone was going to support them, the Irish were doing something, and then there was going to be an assault here. As you can see, <laughs> that didn't really go that well, but they're on the board. Yes. They are on the board, which is the main thing, isn't it? Showing you know, they the are They are there. So, um, where do you want to start with the shooting? Right. I, I, I'm going to do the Italians. Haley, you can do this. Okay. <laughs> you yeah. can do all this. I'll sort this mess I, I, out. I, I need to kill them. Well, they're in combat, kid. so... Yes. So there's no shooting. I'm going to shoot with the skirmishes against the cold shield okay, guards. Geez. That's about the only thing I've been rolling good at. Yeah, that is. <laughs> that. So, uh, so there we go. So the skirmishes are uh, disordered. So it's minus one, but you're within six inches. So that's plus one. So you are hitting on four. So it's going to be 2d6 hitting on four. Ken did this out of sequence, but that <laughs> apparently was his roll. So they are disordered. That's two hits. Um, so we're going to allow that. <laughs> We will He's allow not happy it. about that. Just because he's a guess. I'll, I'll roll it again for mine, but no, I'm not no, having no, it. No, no, no. He's a guess. So now we'll do it. So I need two saves or three, and I'm disordered. It's fine. They saved. It's so there we go. But there we go. But they are disordered. I'll, I'll, t I'll take your disorder. I'll take your disorder. So who are you going with next? Slime regiment here. Okay. They're firing over the heads of their own men. Now, that's normally an artillery rule, but it seems to make sense. For here, because I think because otherwise you can't. Is that rules, you can't. Is it? Like adding rules. I think mean, the other rule is you can't fire. Why do it? This is different from when I play you. He's a lot more argumentative. Really? Can we have? Can we actually, no. Things? Probably no. Actually, to be fair, that's a very good point. Okay, so you're going to be minus two. Basically, you need sixes. So one yeah. six. So that is one save or three for me. Three. So. <laughs> Can't really talk about why Ken's laughing, <laughs> so we'll just leave, <laughs> leave him over there. Haley, what are you going to do? Because Ken's put you in charge of something, at least. What? Because yes. basically, we're going to order a Chinese, and we're waiting for that to be ready. And so Haley's just stepping in. Probably sort this. Oh no, they're all separate, aren't they? So, so basically, um, these oh, these guys can shoot one yeah. dice at these. These guys can shoot one dice at these. Let's do it. Okay, so Start one. The front no, okay, so they're shaken, they're disordered. Um, <laughs> they <all> need <laughs> they need one dice, and it's hitting on a five. I don't think I've ever rolled one dice in any. Oh, uh, unlucky, close. and the other regiment needs exactly the same. That's Boys. a miss as well. Ah, oh, so it's actually just the dice colour that's Well, these the aren't thing. my actual dice. No, so. I know, I'm using those. You've got some cannon there as well. Uh, so you've got the cannon at the back. Ooh. And they're going to be firing up the hill. Yeah. Okay, so you're firing over the heads of your own troops. You're over half range. You are hitting the Hanoverians on a six. Is there a chance I could blow the back of the heads out of these guys? Mm, probably no more than Ken already has. Okay. I just want to check something. Oh, yeah. Yes, they are. You yeah, can shoot them in those. Okay, do you want to do first the cannon or the cannon first. cannon first? You need six. No, no. and the other regiment that he's just pointed out, they need uh, one dice hitting on a four. There you go. There you go. I need one save of four. One dice hitting on a four. I mean, saving on a four. It is saved. There we go. Okay, so what are you uh, what are you guys going with next? Cannons. Cannons. Okay, uh, well, you've done the cannon, so what, the howitzers? Yeah. Howitzers, and you, well, is it going to be the cannon or is it going to be the Hanoverians? What do you want to go for? Ooh, no, you go, for, you choose. Let's go for the Hanoverians. Hanoverians, so it's going to be uh, two dice 
They're firing over half range, um, so it's going to be hitting on a five. Why? Yeah. Uh, why you're on two dice, but uh, different colored dice. It's just not on. <laughs> it's just not on. Just but yeah, I just like to point out it's the red one that, that got the hit. Uh, so I need a single save. Would you like to roll a yellow one? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to. I'm not gonna yeah, dirty so myself. Uh, I need a single save. Um, do howitzers ignore fortifications? We shall find out. So the howitzer rules are minus two to the save. The fortifications. Fortification. Put my teeth Deep. back in. The fortifications give me uh, plus two, so I'm saving on a four. Ah, oh. oh, yes. So they are now they are now shaken, yeah. and uh, yeah, so good. So it'll be on to uh, to close combat. Okay, so you want to start with this one, yeah? Yep. So uh, the French have six, seven dice because of the commander, and they are, they're not this sort of thing, so they're hitting on fours. The Hanoverians won the last round of combat. Um, however, they are shaken, which is minus one, so they've got six dice hitting on fours as well. Seven dice hitting on fours. One, two, two. Damn. This is so, what happens if everything's gone afraid. Everything has gone to pot. Right, hitting on fours for the Hanoverians. Two, two hits. Ooh, two and two. Two and two. Hanoverians need two saves of two. Oh, yes! Ooh, Hayley, on. you're a god! <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Sorry, lads. Are they gone? No, not yet. Oh. No, they've just taken two more casualties. And, the old uh, guard and they will the be way, testing. Son. Two saves of four for the French. Also, oh, they are shaken as well, but they've saved. So I think the French may have won the combat. I'll be testing either way. Hang on Please two try. seconds. Please. Okay, so the results of that combat, even though the Hanoverians are uh, shaken and they took two casualties, because they caused one casualty and they have two supports, they won the combat by one. So the French lost. They are taking a break test. It's unmodified because they have no excess casualties. The Hanoverian casualties will hang around until the next turn. So Haley is rolling 2d6 unmodified. So as high as you can, add them together. Oh, under pressure. Seven, Seven. Uh, th that's gonna roll on into another round. So that, that combat is it's just carrying on. So there on. you go, there you go. So look, you see, she didn't lose all your units for you, yeah. um, but my unit is still shaken. Um, and quite it's badly kind of mauled. Result, really, because yeah, we've got, got all those all guard. Your casualties are stacking. <laughs> they are. Well, they are. Just in, so we should probably just say the you only test, or as far as we read it, you only test in black powder if you lose the combat or you were shaken at the start of, um, at the start of the round and it was a draw. My guys won, but they have taken excess casualties, and uh, still we always come across this. So what we've decided to do is those casualties, even though they won. And they got more casualties they're not testing those casualties will stay on them until the next time they have to take a break test and of course they will count towards that test then anyway so and breathe and then so now we have this hand tank combat over here so we have the italians who are assaulting the 95th in a building so the italians charge they can have six dice um and uh, they are going to be hitting on freeze the 95th is shaken which is minus one i can't remember how many dice they get but i'll check and then we'll have a come back okay so um the 95th rifles get a whopping two dice um, and they are shaken, which is minus one, and they're skirmishers, which is minus one. So um, I'm going to be looking for sixes. Uh, Ken, on the other hand, is looking for threes. However, I get a lot of bonuses to my combat results and saves. So I might as well roll mine first because they're so few. Sixes? Nope. nope. That is six. But that is six. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all That's but one. So five hits. The good news is I need twos because they're in the building. So five saves of two. All saved. Right, so the results of that combat. Um, so we've had to do a little bit of house ruling here. Um, so the the building that um, does add a result to the combat modifier. Um, we couldn't really decide what it was going to be, so we rolled a dice and it's plus one. Um, the rifles get plus one then as their combat result. Um, now normally, in a normal situation, the units on the flank would support, but we've basically said that because the Coldstream Guards aren't actually around this side of the building, it seems a bit silly that they would be able to offer support to that. So um, we're just going to give them... They're not going to take part in this combat. If they come round and been at a different angle, then I think they would. Um, so the Italians got uh, a result of one. The Rifles got a result of one, but because the Rifles were shaken at the start of the combat, they need to take a break test. So they're rolling 2d6. 
nine. They're staying in the building where they are after all that. <laughs> okay, so here we are at the end of French turn four. So it's all got a bit bloody and there's a lot going on. So over on the left flank, the farm is still holding out. They're still holding off the Italians. Um, the Italians might have to do something soon because there's quite a lot of British support coming in down the road and looking to, uh, to help out. On this side of things, uh, the Hanoverians are still holding out, but they are starting to, to wear a bit. I've got one shaken unit. This combat on this side is still raging on, um, but that's going to have to come to an end shortly, hopefully um, in my favour. And then, of course, we have the old guard on um, over the back there. So how are you feeling, Ken? We're sort of halfway through. It's, it's, a, it's a hard one because it's hard to call now. It's the next turn is going to be very decisive. I think you're right. I think, to be honest... It, uh, Depending on how our order rolls go... Yeah, it's, as always. So, it's be that. there we go. Very good, I have been rolling very good until my wife appeared, but fortunately she's gone now. So hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully that will uh, that will change. Um, so I will uh, will go into British turn four. Okay, so that was a very successful uh, turn of British moving. Uh, so we'll start over here on the left and the King Zone have moved into the farm complex to support the 95th, so they'll take part in that combat. Coldstream Guards didn't manage to get rid of their disorder, however the Colonel did join their regiment and he has removed a casualty from them, so they're no longer shaken. Down here, the uh, Scots were trying to move up to support, but didn't do particularly well on their roll, so they're still on their way. However, the Cornwall Regiment did manage to form a four deep line and that was to allow room for these two fresh units to come in, form line and hopefully give fire and support um, the defence of the hill. Speaking of which, up here the Hanoverian Colonel joined this unit of Hanoverians and rallied them, removing the casualty and the shaken status. And over here the combat is going to just grind on again, hopefully get resolved before all of those um, old guard hove into view. So overall it was um, pretty successful and I think we will start the uh, shooting over here with the Coldstream guards firing at those uh, pesky skirmishers that have been sort of trying to like hold them out for the uh, majority of the game. So the skirmishers are behind a wall and they're skirmishers, so that's minus one. And the Coldstream Guards are disordered, which is minus one as well. So they're gonna have four dice hitting on sixes. Okay, four dice in sixes. Oi! They're disordered again, and they need two saves of three. No. One casualty, and uh, yeah, they're disordered. So that'll be a break test. Cornwall Regiment is part of the same brigade, so they are just going to fire over there at uh, that battalion, making their way up the hill, who are already shaken. So if we can just start putting some excess casualties on them, they will be testing. Um, looking at the amount of firepower up <laughs> here, um, the thing is, they're going to. What's annoying is I have to fire at them because they're the closest target. So they're going to suck up a lot of my firepower this turn. So anyway, the Cornwall Regiment is going to fire. They're going to get two dice because they're in four deep line. And and they're going to be hitting on fours. One hit, one save of four. Yes. Well done. Only uh, another couple of uh, shots to, uh, to, <laughs> to, to, to do the same thing. Um, so over here, the Triple X's, the Cambridgeshire Regiment, they will now fire. They've got first fire. So that will be fours. Um, four dice, sorry. Four dice needing fours. Um, you can, I don't think you can enfilade unless they're in line, but I will check if they're in line. Uh, if you can enfilade a column, then they're going to be re-rolling all their misses. So we will just check. Okay, so attack columns can indeed be enfiladed. So they are enfilading. Now we they're going down that side arc. So the enfilade basically means that they can re-roll all misses. And because they've got that bonus dice to their shooting um, as its first fire, that could be fairly critical. So we are looking for fours. I can re-roll the miss. 
That's uh, four hits and they're disordered. Four saves of four. <laughs> oh, dear. oh dear, yeah, yeah, so they've taken four casualties. Uh, so now we're going to fire the rocket battery. They have to fire at the same unit because they are the closest. So it's a single dice. Need the six. It's a miss. So let's find out what's going to happen. One, one. I want a four, five, or a six. One, one. Five, so it diverts again. Let's see where it goes. There we go. Oh, it's going this way. That could be could be bad. And it is going three, which I think is 12 inches. So... Let me just double check. Ken, do you mind uh, measuring that? Yes. Yeah, just, just out. Oh, well. Still, rocket hasn't blown up in my face yet. So, uh, that's good. Um, so, now move on. It's going to be the cannons. They're going to be firing at that same French unit that's taking a pounding. So, they're going to get two dice. They're going to be hitting on freeze because they're, um, they're in a column. Okay. So, two dice hitting on freeze. Both hit. Two saves of six. One, so one more casualty. I'll borrow another casualty marker. That's eight. That's eight. That's eight. So for saying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but you're only five over your stamina, so your break test is going to be at minus five at the moment. Jesus. Uh, and we'll move on to the Hanoverian line infantry next. They're going to fire with three shots. They're no longer shaken. They are going to be hitting on fours. Okay. Um, well, they're already disordered. Two saves or four. Oh, it'll be actually it'll be two saves or three because uh, to, um, because they're in a in a column <laughs> in a march column. Yeah, no good. So they oh, okay, so still one. Yep. So two more. Two more. And the final cannon has to shoot at them as well. So the half battery will fire with one dice hitting on a three. That's a hit. Another save of six. Thanks. No, um, I think it's pretty much impossible for them to pass. Now I do remember. I know in Hail Caesar there's a rule for shattered units. Um, and I can't remember, there was in the first version of Black Powder, but I haven't come across it yet for version 2. So if you know where that rule is or the page number, let us know, because otherwise at the end of the shooting phase we'll roll that break test and it's going to be a big minus. <laughs> That's it. That is for me, so they need to take their break test. So uh, just to confirm, they've taken 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 casualties. They are also shaken and disordered and they took casualties from artillery. So they are going to be testing minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 for the disorder, uh, 10 for the... Oh look! They lost. They lost. Oh. So they are gone. So long. So the skirmishers need to test. They are at minus one for the disorder and another minus one for the excess casualties. They're at minus two. Or six, they are going to be withdrawing up the hill. Okay, so it's time for the, uh, the ongoing close combat here. So the Hanoverians won the last round of combat, so they'll be adding one to their roll. However, they are still shaken, so they are just going to be hitting on fours. The French will now, uh, will now continue, and uh, they've still got their commander with them, so they will be uh, getting seven dice, also hitting on fours. Looking for fours, mate. Uh, oh, that's all right. Five. Fours. All but one. Five as well. Five saves of two. And I lost another one. And so one casualty. And you need saves of four. Three. One as well. Okay, so the Hanoverians did one casualty. They're supported to their flank and to their rear. So they get a combat result of three. The French did one casualty um, and aren't supported at all. So they've lost. So it's another break test for the French. They are now shaken. And that obviously has no effect. But it might add something next turn. Straight up break test. Yeah. Eight. They're staying there. Okay, so that's the end of turn four for the British. And um, the centre attack has... Probably has been stalled, but there is a lot of fresh French coming along that way. And over on the British left flank, um, that is going to go. Oh, no, we've got to do that combat. What am I talking about? We haven't done this combat. So um, oh, yeah, we'll do that so there's been quite a lot. So sorry, we I will uh, work this out. We'll come back. So the, uh, the French are going to get six attacks. Yep. Um, they won the last round of combat. So they are... No, it was a draw, wasn't it? It was a draw. So you're just getting six attacks and you're hitting on fours. The British, the rifles get two attacks. They're shaken, um, so they're going to be hitting on fives. But the fresh uh, King's Own that are in there are going to get six attacks and they are going to be hitting on fours. 95th first, looking for fives. One hit off the 95th. And the King's Own 
are looking for fours. And they got three, so four hits overall for the British. Um, the uh, Italians are looking for fours as well. One, two, three, four as well, four apiece. Four saves of two for the British. Oh, one casualty. Um, I didn't ask who you were putting all the attacks on. Is it just on the rifles? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay, that. so that will be on the rifles, and then you need four saves of four. Two. two. Two casualties on them. Okay, so Ken lost the combat by one simply because I've got the building. If I never had the building, then uh, it'd probably been a bit different. So, uh, Ken, you're testing straight, no modifiers. Six, Six so they're retreating back up the hill. So um, they're actually going to, because it's usually one full move, but they can't do one full move because of the obstacle, so they'll go back two minutes. So they go back to the obstacle, they're basically back um, over the hills, so they're at the top of the hill. Okay, so now it is actually the end of British turn four. And so it's a bit of a gap has opened up in the middle. I think, Ken, you're going to have to work quite hard okay. to get to get into <laughs> that gap before I can fill it with long, thin red lines. <laughs> So, go on then, Ken. Right. Finally, in turn five. <laughs> it's happening. Um, so, yeah, we'll start on this side. Yeah. Rolled really well with the guard. I'll did, say. Yeah. <laughs> I did a bit, I, got, I think I got four. Uh, did a battalion, uh, brigade, sorry, brigade order. So, the guard, we're going to assault the Hanoverians there. Mm -hmm. And then I've got the Irish here along with the middle guards. We're going to assault the Hanoverians there. Yep. So uh, there's going to be loads of close combat. Loads I think this plucky combat. little uh, Hanoverian regiment over here might finally be eating the dust. Because it's got eight attacks from the old guard. Seven attacks from that regiment there. Yeah. I mean, they are still saving on twos, though. That's that's the thing. you know. It's the they're... twos. But I've also done it. So I've got the cannon can fire there. Cannon can fire over there as well. So counter battery fire. But crucially, this was important. Martin was swinging round on my flank. I've managed to get two assaults in here as well. Um, so they rolled really well, and they're both in. Um, I took one casualty in closing fire there, but it's not the end of the world. I know, I was, that was gutting, because if, if I'd have put just a couple more casualties on there, then they, you'd have been testing. Yeah, so I've held up his this flank from supporting now, so I'm not going to take any fire, um, hopefully, for next, on the next turn there. Um, so it's going okay, and over here, Obviously, the Italians, they've hopped over. They're going to be able to put some fire into the farm. I'm also yeah, going to be able to you wanted to charge, though, didn't you? That's did. that's, that's that's what you wanted. You it wanted to charge. It was going to be charge. a full assault. The whole, it was, yeah. Basically, Napoleon was there. He was ordering a whole army to go, move forward. Um, but they, they just kind of tripped over yeah, the wall. He's put his reserves in. The guard are in. He needed to put his reserves in. He was thundering on that flank, so... Um, yeah, I've got fire. I've got fire I can do. And, um, I need to get rid of these cold string guards. I have to get rid of them because that will open up Martin's flank and cause him to put more units over this side. So yes, it's going okay. I'm not counting my chickens yet. No, okay, yeah. so it's straight into shooting, but on this flank, there's not a great deal. Um, where would you like to start? I'll start with the howitzers. And what are the howitzers gonna fire at? They're gonna fire at your cannon. At uh, my cannon, the half battery. Yes. Okay, so howitzers always fire with two dice. Um, you're not firing over the heads of your own men, so it's just gonna be two dice. Are you, you're not, are you over 24 inches away? It's going to be quite close. Just about. <laughs> Just about. So you're only minus one, so you've got two dice and they're going to be hitting on fives. Okay, looking for those fives. Oh, one five. Um, I, plus two, minus two. And um, they have a rubbish save anyway, so I think I'm saving on a six. Okay, so now it is the save of four. 
They saved. Okay. And again, it's only because of the fortification. If it wasn't because of that, then they'd be getting smashed. Um, but then that is, I suppose, your objective. That's that's the whole point. Um, this battery as well now. That battery. So what are they going to fire at? You the fought, other cannons. Yeah, you're going to have to fight. Fire at the other cannons. Um, so that's going to be if they're within 24 inches, or is that just now? Are they just that little bit closer? Ooh. Yep, they are. So you're going to get two dice, and you are going to be hitting on. Ooh. Okay, so it's a save of four. No, okay, so they're disordered and they've taken a casualty. Okay, so um, Italians. Italians here are going to shoot at the 95th rifles in there. Yep. Um, I've got three dice. Three dice hitting on fives. Yep. One hit, one save of two. Yep. You need to basically, if you can just put one casualty on them, they're going to be testing. Same with these, 95th. Same thing again. Yep. Oh, plus one actually, you're hitting on fours. Because you're at six inch range. Uh, they're disordered and two saves of two. They save, but they are disordered. So, do you want the ones on the hill? Yes, please. Just 95th again? Yeah. Okay, so they're going to be hitting on sixes. They're disordered and they're firing at unclear targets. Okay, one hit. You really need me to roll a one. Please. No. No, sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> Uh, skirmishers. Yeah, uh, the uh, You sure? You don't want to just try and put that one casualty on the. Um... Nah. Okay. You sure? You sure? One casualty is all it's going to take, and you can re-roll. Remember. I mean, you're hitting on sixes, but. Nah. Okay. They're, they're sixes as well, aren't they? Uh, they're going to be fives. No, them. Okay. No. You can re-roll one. Re-roll one. No. Okay, so now it's the mass combat, so where would you like to start? Uh, let's start down here. Start on this flank. Okay, which one do you want to go with first? Your choice. This one. Okay, so you get six dice plus one because you charge, so you've got six dice hitting on freeze. All but two. So I've got six dice going back, hitting on fours. Uh, three hits. Three saves are free because of the attack column. Two. One casualty. I need four saves of four. Uh, two casualties. Okay, so Ken took one casualty um, and I took two casualties. However, I'm supported to the rear, which means it's two apiece. Neither of us were shaken at the start of the combat. So that is an out and out draw. Nothing happens and that will roll on into next turn. Um, do you want to do this one now? Yes, please. Okay, so this one's a little bit more, I'm a bit more of a disadvantage because I'm in four deep lines. So you're going to get six dice hitting on threes because you've charged. I'm going to get five dice hitting on fours. Looking for threes. Uh, five hits. Yep. I've got five dice looking for fours. Uh, four hits. Five saves of four. Oh, three casualties for the British. That's bad. Ken needs saves of three because he's in an assault column. Oh, two casualties. Okay, so Ken did three casualties and I did two casualties. Um, that unit has already supported that unit, so it doesn't offer support again. So um, I've lost by one. So I'm rolling a straight up roll. No modifiers. Please, please, please. And they're staying. That combat will carry on next turn. Okay, so which uh, which unit would you like to do next? Which combat? We've either got the... Go with the Irish. Go with the Irish. Okay, so they're a bog standard unit. They get six dice. They charge, so they're hitting on threes. I am... Um, oh, my guy's in my unit. Because he rallied them, didn't he? Yes, he did. So he's in there, so he adds one. Oh, so they're on... I, I they're on seven. <laughs> and uh, I will be hitting on fours. You're looking for threes, Ken. <laughs> Uh, all but two, so four hits. I've got seven attacks hitting on fours. Um, three. It's definitely going your way now. So, how many ones did you do? You did four, didn't you? So, I need four saves of two. One casualty. You need three saves of three because you're in an attack column. One casualty as well. So, um,. Ken did one casualty, I did one casualty. He supported to his rear, I'm supported to my flank um, by that cannon. So it's 2-2, two, two. it's an out and out draw. I've elected to not have that cannon support because I want it to support um, that combat over there. Um, so it's uh, it's an out and out draw. I wasn't shaken at the start of the combat, so I don't need to test. However, it was a draw next time I will. So that will trundle on into next turn, like every other combat that we're playing. Um, so next, I suppose it's the biggie. Yeah. Can they finally break through 
against these Hanoverians. I hope so. Okay, so it's going to be interesting. So they are um, shaken, though, aren't they? They are shaken. So I'm rolling at minus one. So I've got six dice minus one. So I'm rolling. I'm hitting on fives. Your this unit is shaken. So um, they're rolling six dice, seven dice, hitting on hitting on fives. They get eight, whereas they get eight dice, hitting on threes. All right, we'll do this to bit by bit. So Ken's just asked me where I'm going to put all my attacks, and I'm going to put them all into the standard unit I was because put them in the guard. he was hoping I was going to put them in the guard. But he's <laughs> he's only just realised that the guard have a morale save normally of three plus one for being in an assault column means they're saving on twos. My only chance here is to try and break a unit, get the points for it, or possibly cause um, some disorder down his line. So I'm more likely to be able to do that if I go and attack the normal people. Now, I know that I'm probably going to use lose this Hanoverian unit, but I'm okay with that because they've done really well so far. Yeah. So I am rolling six dice, and I am hitting on fives. Come on. Oh, dear. <laughs> I had to open my mouth, didn't I? So uh, no hits for Hanoverians. So uh, Ken, are you going to do this unit first, yeah? Yes, mate. Okay, seven. so seven dice hitting on fives. Okay, go for it. Wow. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's five, five hits already. Um, and now with the old guard, it's eight attacks hitting on threes. Rerolling one because they're tough fighters. Yeah. That's uh, all but one. So seven. That's you can reroll that as well because you've got tough fighters. Yeah. Uh, that's every single one. Okay, so that's uh, eight. That's twelve saves of two. I've got to chuck into uh, Yorkist white dice here to get on. So uh, twelve saves of two. Here we go. For Lancaster. Okay, so I. There we go. Two failures. Yeah, that's yeah. good, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, so. Two extra casualties, but I have very much lost that combat, and we're not even going to bother working out the combat result. Um, so I'm going to be testing with some excess casualties. Let's have a look. Okay, so they are testing minus four. Come on. You can do it. Oh. Eight minus four is four. They have gone, which means I need to test for the units in support, so the unit behind them. Seven, they stay where they are, the and the cannon. Come on, please go. Kind of stays as well. Okay, so the old guard have moved into occupied a position because the other unit uh, couldn't. Um, but just so they fit in, we've put them into line because we're not that bo not that bothered about we're it. Um, however, because they can't um, make a sweep and advance because and charge because they're not cavalry, we've had to leave a bit of a gap. So I've got a decision to make next turn about whether or not these guys are going to charge them or whether or not they'll back off and maybe just shoot them. Although I just realised I could spin this cannon and just canister them down the flank. And enfilade. Them. <laughs> hmm. Well, um, that's the end of French turn five, and it's been um, different. Been different. L completely changed the face of it. Remember, Ken can just get points by getting battalions off the board. So if he can break through on this flank, he could get one, two, three, four battalions off and gain eight points that way. He doesn't have to exit via the road. So uh, we shall see where this is going to go. British turn five. Okay, so there wasn't a great deal of movement on the uh, on the British turn. Um, over on this side, the Hanoverians decided they didn't like the old guard being on their patch, so they charged two casualties to closing fire, and they're also disordered. My cannon has reorientated slightly to put some grape shot into those uh, that pesky battalion that's been annoying them. A colonel managed to remove a casualty off of uh, this unit here. These cannons are st disordered, but still able to fire. Over here, I wanted the Highlanders to do a little bit more than they did, but they're marching up. They can't offer support in a march column, but hopefully they'll do a little bit more next time. Rather annoyingly, I wanted the Coldstream Guard to charge into the Italians. However, they delivered closing fire and shook the uh, Coldstream Guard to pass their break test, but as a shaking unit, they had to then abandon their charge. 
and that kind of sums everything up over here this is this slot i'm just trying to defend the building and keep them out um it's imperative that i hold this flank and try and push through the center so we'll go straight into shooting and i'm going to kick things off by firing a round of canister into this battalion here of french who have been annoying me since the start of the game um so that's going to be three dice and within six inches they're going to be hitting on threes and i'm firing at a column so i'm going to be hitting on twos three dice hitting on twos full hit three saves of six because it's artillery no no that's three casualties they're going to be taking a break test at the end of the shooting phase my cannon battery here is going to fire at Ken's cannon battery there. They could have this kind of enemy at the gate style <laughs> sniper war <laughs> between cannons. Um, so I'm going to be firing. Where they're in 24 inches, so it's two dice. I'm firing at deployed artillery, and I'm minus one because I'm disordered. So I'm going to be hitting on sixes. Nope. Stream Guard can still fire even though uh, they're shaken, but they'll be at minus one. So they're going to fire at that unit. They're going to get four dice. They're plus one to hit because they're in six inches, but they're minus one because they are shaken. Um, and uh, so they're going to be hitting on fours. Come on. Uh, that's two hits. So you need two saves of four. Well done. 95th are going to fire at that same battalion. So they are shaken. So it's going to be 2d6. Minus one, so we're hitting on fives normally, but they're within six inches, so it's plus one. Hitting on fours. Wow, re get to reroll one. one. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Get a bit of neggy luck. I know, I know. It's not going well there. It's not going well. Um, so, that all, it's, all this, I'm going to use first fire um, from this unit here. So four dice from the king's own, firing at the uh, Italians that are attacking them, and uh, they're going to be hitting on threes. Three hits, three saves of four. Three casualties, they're shaken. Oh no, they've taken some more, haven't they? They've already taken a couple, haven't they? No, they've not taken Oh, that was the other one that ran off that's already. Like okay, so they, well, they're shaken now. Yes. Okay, so that's the situation in there. So we've had to start using your little yellow dice for the casualties because so there's so many casualties in here. Um, so we'll start with the combat. So we'll start down here first. Um, this combat was a draw last time, so nobody uh, was testing. So we're both fighting full strength, both hitting on fours, both got six dice. Okay, triple X's need fours. That's uh, four hits. Fours. Oh, one hit. That's not good. I need one save of four. Saved. You need four saves of three. One hit as well. Right, so we did one casualty apiece, so we are both now shaken. However, because I was supported to my rear, I won the combat by one. So Ken is taking a break test. No modifiers. Yeah, it's good. Ten, they've passed. That's just going to roll along. It's just crazy. No one is breaking in this game. They all want to live. So over here, we are both shaken in this combat. So we both have six. No, you, I have five dice. You have six dice. I have five dice. And we're both hitting on fives because we're both shaken. Fives for the Cornwall Regiment. Two hits. Fives for the French. Two hits as well. <laughs> oh my god, it's going to... Two saves of four for the British. Both saved. Two uh, two saves of three for the French. Both, both saved. saved. But because it's a draw and we were both shaken both at the start of that combat, taken. we're both going to be taking a break test. You are one in excess of your casualties. So you are 2d6 minus one. Uh, so it's eight, so you're staying, and I'm just straight up. Mm, come on. 2d6. Two D two D oh, by the way, if anyone's wondering, basically this unit can't support because they're in a march column. That's why I didn't just win that combat. So I need nice and high. Uh, oh, oh. I think I'm retiring. I know they're not destroyed. I think they're retiring. Which is okay, so they're shaken, so they can't, he unfortunately can't advance on me, but uh, he has chosen just to reform and just hopes to give some fire, I think, for when the Highland is inevitably... Charge. Come for them. So next we'll go to this um, Hanoverian regiment here. And oh, I just realized we didn't roll your break test for these guys here who took the canister shot to the face. Oh, yeah. So um, we we'll better do that now. So they are testing. Um, they weren't disordered. So you're uh, minus 
your three casualties in excess, so that's minus three, but because you took the casualties from a artillery piece, then you're minus four, so you're 2d6 minus four. <laughs> Just break all the scenery. <laughs> ah, they're gone. They're gone. They're gone, so they they have finally broken, but they, they did, they put up a good fight. Oh! Your commander's in there. Yeah, he is. Um, he's gone, I think. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's just yeah, gone. He's There's just no gone, role. Yeah. He's just gone. Yeah. Uh, which means the rest of the units in his uh, battalion basically can't, basically have to retire. Um, they'll be going back. Yep. Yeah, so, um, oh dear. Yeah. Well, to be fair though, he was sent in. That was the forlorn hope in a yes. way, and he put up a good fight. And now I've just got to deal with the rest of his guard. So it will be this combat here. Um, the Irish against the Hanoverians. The Hanoverians will be getting seven dice because the commander is in the unit with them. Um, so seven dice and um, seven dice and I'm going to be hitting on fours. The Irish get six dice and they are hitting on fours as well. Go for it. Fours. Oh, that's... Uh, two hits. Seven dice hitting on fours. <laughs> Uh, three. three. Two saves of two. Yep, that's fine. And you need three saves of three, saves of three. three because you're in an attack column. Yeah. Absolutely fine. Okay, let's work out who's won the combat. So I'm leaving this cannon to support over here. So they're supported by one. So um, I uh, there was no casualties. So I get one for that support you get one for that support then yes it is it's just a draw again, again and it will just roll on um so over to here uh you're gonna get eight dice and you are going to be re-rolling one because you've got tough fighters i'm going to be getting six dice i charged so i'm hitting on threes fours you can re-roll one which Ooh. is probably a good thing three. three hits i'm hitting on threes uh, three hits. Old guard save on freeze. <gasps> That's two casualties. That Come on, three saves of four. Two casualties on the Hanoverians. Oh God, it's another bloody draw. I think it might be. Okay, so on those combat results, um, it is a draw. I'm now, uh, I'm now shaken. Um, it, we did just remember that the Hanoverians were disordered, <laughs> so there should have been some minuses in there. But to be fair, we just carry on because it would take too much to go back and retcon all of that also they're mine so <laughs> no no we, we don't it's it just keeps the game going and you know that's just part of it, especially when you've got this many models on the board which we did count up earlier and there was at uh, one point over 600 um, individual models on here so um that is the end of british turn five we'll go now into french turn six <laughs> Vive Vive there. Right. Go on in, Ken. Do you wanna do you wanna go through what's uh, what's happened? Yeah, so obviously I've had to do a retire move here with this unit. So He's the only one left from that brigade. Actually, wasn't one of the one of the cannons was from that brigade as well, wasn't it? Yes. So they one of them needs to um yes, start retiring think, as well. I think, it, I think it was this one. Yeah, well, we'll sort that one out in a minute. Whichever yeah. one that was, we'll, we'll move. Because um, their commander has been killed. Um, and inst but instead of just automatically removing the models, we just say they have to retire. And because they'd retire in good order um, off the board. And if they're off the board at the end of the game, they count towards um, the victory um, points. Anyway, I digress. So, oh, and there goes the bony. Um, so, yeah, sorry, Ken, carry on. Yeah, no, that's cool. Um, so, yeah, they're going to move. But the guard have moved up now. So, guard here. They're, they're going to be supporting there. I've also moved the commander into there and moved the casualty, so he's only got one casualty in there now. Um, I've swung the middle guard around to attack the Hanoverians as well, so the Hanoverians now got two attacks, so Martin's cannon are only going to be able to shoot at these boys this next turn. Yep, um, down, down the flank. Down the flank, so it's going to be a bit painful, but they're there as a sacrificial unit to the, slant, to the slaughter. <laughs> very, how very, yes. how very French of you. Yes, exactly. Um, this unit here, so the officer's moved in, he's removed casualties, so they're not longer shaken. So when we go into combat, Martin will be shaken at the start of the turn, so he'll have to do a break test. Um, Italians over this side, 
I've just moved the commander in there to remove the shake in there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get some shooting going on. Um, it's just, yeah. hold, just holding up this It's side. holding, it's just what's gonna happen. It's, it's very much two different battles at the minute. We have the battle for the ridge up here, which I know isn't that visible from uh, from where I am, but there we go, if you actually want to, you know, those those troops have to, have tried very hard to get up that ridge, haven't they? So, uh, yes. so you know, you've done you've done well to get them up there. They have done very well. So, um, next, uh, yeah, shooting. What do you want to start with? Because uh, yeah, so I better start with cannon here. Yep. And they can't really get a clear line of sight there. No, I think you're actually. I think it's that one. Isn't it? I think you're stuck. No, I can't get. You haven't got a clear shot because of them. I think they're oh, stuck. Okay. I think they might actually be stuck this turn. But that's going to be the first turn they haven't fired. To be fair. Yeah. Um, so there's actually probably nothing on this flank apart from your line regiment here. Yes. Who are they going to shoot at? Uh, they are going to fire at the um, forty second. No. Yeah, the Highlanders. Yeah. Okay. So are you within six inches? Just now, I think. Okay. Just now. Nice out. So uh, you're going to get three dice. You're minus one because you are shaken, um, and you're going to so you're going to be hitting on fives. Okay, so you're hitting on fives. That's one hit, you're disordered, and I'm at minus two because I'm in a march column. Six is on need. Yes! Yeah, they saved it, but they are disordered, which is so annoying because I want my Highlanders to charge. <laughs> well, what do you want to go with now? Uh, Italians. Skirmishes Italians. Skirmishes. Skirmishes, culturing guards, and um, they're shaken. Um, so that's minus one. So you've got two dice needing fives to hit, rerolling one miss. So it's one. one hit. Two hits, two saves of three. Ooh. Oh no! <laughs> That's a break test. Uh, that will be a break test. Minus two. Um, do they have the valiant rule? I know the old guard do. I'll have to check. Um, so yep. So we'll just keep racking the casualties up on them. Who's going next? Uh, I'll use this Italian unit to fire them as well. Okay. Um, it's probably gonna be half. The, so you're gonna be at minus one because because of that oh, half. You can fire. Uh, so you're at minus one for that. Um, so but even six as well makes no difference. So it's gonna be fours. Yeah. Ah. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. What's the other Italian unit going to do? This Italian unit's going to fire into there. Who, 95th or uh, the King Zone? Yeah, 95th. So we need to get rid of them. Just need to do that one casualty. So you need, uh, so you've got three dice hitting on fours. That's a disorder and a save of two. Yep, a save. So they are disordered again, though. So who are we going with now? These Italians are yeah. going to shoot at the 95th again. Okay. So um, that's the same. Uh, no, it's actually worse. You need uh, fives. No. Oh, that's unfortunate. Is that it? Is that all of it? Uh, yes. Okay, in that case, I need to take a break test for the Coldstream Guard. So we've got the howitzers. Even though they're retiring, they stand, can still fire, and I assume they're going to fire at this cannon yes. here. Uh, so you're going to get two dice. Um, you're over half range. You are also firing at deployed artillery, so it's going to be two dice. You're going to be hitting on sixes. No. Unlucky. Worth a shot, though. <laughs> so now it's a break test for the Coldstream Guards. So 2d6 minus 2. Uh, so four, they've gone. They've gone at last. I mean, to be fair, they've taken loads. Really good. It's got your commander in it. He does have my commander in it, which means that that brigade is now going to be uh, retiring, including... Uh, the people who are occupying. Well, actually, it's just a 95th. The King's Own will be staying there. Oh, my God. I need to smash no, you this. Need to get this. You need to get in there. <laughs> oh, no. Right. That is a very good point. They're well done. Well. They're well done. No, we're not. Oh, which ones are retiring? So they're retiring. Oh, your rocket battery. They're, that and that. That, that. There's quite a few things that are retiring because their commander has been killed. The cold, the, the, do you know what? These pesky little skirmishes. They've done really well. They've done really well. That's all they've shot at this whole game. I know. Okay, so uh, I guess it's hand to hand combat now. Yes. So where do you want to start? Uh, let's start with the middle guard. The middle guard? Oh, okay. So we're going to do this this side first, yeah? Yeah, we'll do the... Uh, okay, so, uh, so you charged here with the middle guard. Um, so the middle guard are going to get... So the middle guard get seven attacks. So they charge. So it's seven attacks hitting on threes for them. The Irish um, are, six. are six attacks hitting on fours. Who won this? This was just a draw again, wasn't it? Yes. 
Yeah, it was a draw again. Yeah. So um, that's six attacks hitting on fours, and I get six attacks hitting on fours, and I'm going to put all of mine attacks into the Irish, I think. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Actually, no, I've got seven, so I'll put four into the Irish. No, I'll put them all into the Irish. So Irish first, six attacks hitting on fours. One, two, three hits. And up next, you've got the middle guard. That's seven dice hitting on threes because they charged. All but one. All but one. Seven attacks hitting on threes. And I'm all going on the Irish. Sorry, hitting on fours, not threes. Hitting on fours. Uh, one, two, three hits. Three saves of four. Two more casualties. So they're shaken now. Oh, shaken. Ten saves of two. Every single one. Wow. Wow, that's gonna be that's gonna be interesting. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Um, okay, so let's work it out. Um, you took how many casualties? Two casualties. Um, I've taken none. You're not. Uh, you're supported to your flank by this unit here. Um, so that. Uh, so. No, no, no. They're gonna support them. Oh, okay, they're going to support them. Okay, so hang on. How many casualties? You did no casualties and you got no supports. I did two casualties and I've got one support, so I win the combat. Um, so both your units are testing. So the oh. Irish uh, evens. Oh! <laughs> um, so uh, so yeah. So the Irish are are gone. That's they are they are utterly broken. Uh, and now it's the the middle guard. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> that was so one. close. And so they retire one move and are disordered. So, these, no, I'm these, going to though. consolidate and I'm just going to stay where I am. I'm not going to chase you over the top, as tempting as it may be. Uh, what I am going to do next turn is enfilade you <laughs> with <laughs> uh, with canister and, and just throw them. So, uh, the next one, though, to be fair, I've got to sort this out now. So, as we're sorting out the old guard brigade, we need to do this combat here. So, the old guard are going to get eight dice. And they're going to be hitting on... So it's you, so you're hitting on freeze. I get six dice hitting on fours. Okay, you're hitting on freeze. And all but two. So six hits. I have six dice. And I am hitting on... I'm disordered. I'm shaken, but they know it's not cumulative. So I'm hitting on fours. Fives, sorry. Six dice hitting on fives. It, none. <laughs> so six saves, and I'm not in cover for like the first time, so six saves of four. Uh, two saves, that's four casualties. I'm well and truly lost that. I'm going to be taking a massive break test. Okay, so I'm uh, minus six to my roll. I need a double six. I need 11 or 12. Oh, it was close, but no, it's gone. So, um, yeah, the unit, the Hanoverian line has finally broken. Where are we going next, mate? Just down here. Um, I think there. The 111. Okay, against the triple X's. Um, so you are going to get uh, six dice. You're in column. I'm going to get uh, six dice and I'm in line. Oh no, you get, um, you're get you going to get one more dice because your commander's joined seven. them, so you're going to get seven dice. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to be hitting on fours, I'm going to be hitting on fives because I'm shaking. Uh, just three. Three hits, okay. Six dice hitting on fives. Just the one. One save for three. Nope. Nope, so there's one casualty. Three saves for four. Another casualty on me. Okay, so that is another draw. Um, I was shaken at the start of the combat, though, so that means I've got a test. Um, we did one casualty apiece. I'm supported to my rear. He's supported to the side. Shaking units still support. Um, as I was shaken at the start of the combat, it's a test. So one two, over, yeah. um, one over. So two d six minus one. Yes. Oh, they've gone. Which means I need to roll for the 69th. They're fine. They're staying where they are. So Ken is elected to actually just stay there soak up the fire that's going to be incoming and then try and charge next turn okay we shall see see what happens um and that's it isn't it there's no more hand-to-hand -hand combat at all so yeah. that is the end of french turn six one turn left for me. one turn left for the french what can the british do in return
Okay, so I didn't do a great deal of movement. I didn't really need to. I had to retire my units from my uh, brigade that had the commander killed. So the 95th have actually now just given up their position in the building and they're retiring across the ploughed field. The 32nd are here and the rocket has left the battlefield much to Ken's joy um on this side here the highlanders can't really do anything because they're disordered um i'm going i've kept the 69th where they are so that i can do a nice shot into the front of them um and then up here those cannons are going to enfilade down that um, flank these guys are going to fire at the middle guard and i have turned this cannon to enfilade a canister shot down the side of the old guard hopefully that'll be enough to put them away so we might as well go straight to the shooting um, as there's uh, no hand-to-hand -hand combat at all um, and we'll start on this side and the king's own are going to fire into the unit that has already taken a couple of casualties so i'm going to get three dice there within six inches and i'm going to be hitting on freeze looking for freeze uh that's a single hit that's a single save of four well done. 69th, we're going to fire at this French battalion here. They're within six inches. They've got first fire. So it's going to be four dice, and I'm hitting on threes. Uh, every single one, and they're disordered. Four saves for three, Ken. Uh, two casualties, so they'll be taking a break test because they've already got two. This cannon is going to enfilade down the flank of this unit here. So I'm going to get three dice for canister, and I can reroll all misses. I'm within six inches, um, so I'm hitting on freeze. Come on. Uh, I can reroll all misses. That's two hits, that's two saves of six. One save, one casualty, but that's enough to force a break test on them as well. Hanoverians are going to fire at this unit of middle guard, um, so they're going to get three dice, the sh and uh, they're hitting on fours, and that's it. Two hits and they are disordered. That's going to be two saves of four. One. One. What I'm looking forward to, the cannon is going to enfilade uh, the old guard, so I'm going to get three dice. I'm going to be hitting on uh, freeze and uh, I get to reroll all misses. Come on. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, three hits. Um, they've got a normal save of three, so it's uh, three saves of five. One save. Oh, I don't think that's enough because they've got stamina of four. Yeah. So I believe, I think, two, two casualties there. Yep. Yeah, so they are, in fact, fine. That's really annoying. Cause that commander's actually in there with them, any. So um, I could have blasted them away. But that's uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. So um, you need to take a break test for this unit here. Um, they uh, they're minus one and they're disordered, so they are minus two. Uh, minus six minus two is four. They are gone. Ooh. They're off. And it's got the officer in as well. And it's got the officer in, so he's dead. So that uh, brigade, or well, what's left of it, is now Starting retiring to... anyway. So a break test for these guys. They are one over their stamina limit. However, they took the um, casualties from artillery, so it's going to be 2d6 minus two. Yeah, uh, right. So seven, so they just hold their ground. Um, I believe that is actually everything. So that is the end of British turn six. So we're going into the final French turn. Turn seven, how are you feeling about it? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get on with it. <laughs>
Um, the middle guard have charged up the hill, were disordered on their way in against the Hanoverians. Everyone else is retiring back down the hill, and unfortunately, the Italians have done fuck all. Have done yet. <laughs> So they didn't want to go anywhere. So, where do you want to start with your shooting? Um, well, I might as well start with the Italians. Yep, okay, so... Um, I'll, do the, I'll do the skirmishes first. Skirmishes, so you're just firing at the King's Own in, yeah, in there, right? Okay, the so uh, you are going to be... Because they're not a clear target, because they're inside, so you're going to be hitting on fives, two dice, re-rolling one. Two hits, so that's disordered them. I need two saves of two. One casualty. I'll go with this regiment at the back here. Okay, so again, three dice hitting on fives. Uh, one save two. Yep. Uh, this regiment here. Okay, three dice uh, within six inches, so that's going to be hitting on fours. Same again, one save two. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then the final one, same again. Yep. Uh, one hit, one save two. All right, good lads, good lads. Assholes. <laughs> <laughs> um, these guys are going to shoot at. Uh, okay. At the 69th, yes. so that is going to be um, three dice. Oh, I should have got rid of that ticket. That's going to be three dice hitting on fives because they're shaken. Um, okay, one save of four. Nope, so that's one casualty. Over here. Cannons over there. They have in 24? Yes. Okay, so it's uh, two dice and you're hitting on fours. Two hits, two saves of six. No, so they are now shaken as well. Guard at the top. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so that's all the shooting, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I've just got to do, the, no, I've got to do that line. Oh, no, this, uh, sorry, you're right. Yeah, this line here. So you're going to get uh, four dice. You've got shooting at four. They're at plus. Um, one for being at short range, but deployed artillery is minus one, so it's um, four dice hitting on fours. Oh no, I just realised you wouldn't be able to shoot anyway because you're in hand to hand combat. <laughs> oh, of course they are, yeah. So, so don't worry about it. So yeah, so that's a that's a that's a combat. They're just hanging out, <laughs> chilling. There to there to help, moral support. Yeah, moral support. So I guess we should go on to hand to hand combat. Which one do you want to do first? Uh, let's do the cannon first. Do the cannon first. Okay, so you've got this unit of old guard. They're going to eight dice. You're charging, so they're going to be hitting on threes. I get a one dice hitting back on a four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. You that wasn't great. No. <laughs> three hits. Uh, I have one dice coming back hitting on a four. Oh. One hit, you need one save of three. Done, I need three saves of two. All done. God. The cannon crew fight them off. I think I win the combat though, don't I? Uh, I, I... Do, 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 do. No, I have no one in support. You've got one unit in support, so I lose by one. So yes, uh, and I've got to take a break test, but I'm pretty sure if the cannon has to take a break test, it loses. Let's Yay. see. Uh, on an eight, let's have a look. So Ken has done a sweep and advance in to uh, contest that objective. So he's got one unit within six inches. I've got one unit within six inches. Um, and now we've got to do the middle guard. So the middle guard gets uh, seven attacks yes. and they are hitting on threes because they charged, but you're minus one because you're disordered. So uh, seven attacks hitting on fours. I have six attacks going back hitting on fours. Go for it. You're hitting on fours. Two, three. three. I've actually got seven attacks because my uh, colonel is in there with them trying to rally the men. Oh. So I got five. Three saves of two. Uh, all saved. And you will need five saves of four. No. Oh dear. Three. Three casualties. Okay, so the middle guard are have lost the combat. They are disordered, which is going to be minus one of their break test. They have one in excess of their stamina, so they are going to be testing minus two. Yeah, oh, yeah they're absolutely fine, so that rolls on into the next turn. And uh, I think that is the end of French. the French turn. So that is the end of French turn seven. Nothing left for the French to do. Nope. I'm going to see what the British can pull out the bag.
Okay, so um, it's really just an exercise now in just trying to just, just gain some points back. So on this flank here, the Hanoverians are still engaged. However, I managed to get the Highlanders in who have charged the middle guard. I haven't got to worry about that shaken unit of um, line, uh, line French infantry there, which the 69th will hopefully deal with. Over here, I managed to get the cannons round. Remember that the commanders don't block line of sight or anything like that. They're just involved in the, in the unit. So they will be firing... Unfortunately, we're not close enough to get canister, but we'll be firing a couple of cannonballs down into the old guard. Hopefully, I'll be able to shake them or maybe even see them off. Um, on this side of things, the uh, the King's Own are going to carry on their defence against the Italians. The retreating 95th Rifles haven't left the board yet, but I did lose the Cornwall Regiment. So, we'll just go straight into the shooting. Um, and we'll start over here with the King's Own, who are disordered. They're going to be firing at that unit of Italians that have already got two casualties on them. So, they're at minus one for the disorder, but plus one because of the range. So, it's going to be three shots hitting on fours. That's uh, two hits and they're disordered. Two saves of four. Uh, one casualty, so there will be a break test. 69th are now going to shoot at that line battalion. Um, they are shaken, but it's, so it's going to be three dice, and I'm going to be hitting on fives. Come on. Uh, just the one hit, so you just need one save or four. Yay. Well done. Last bit, cannons at the old guard. Not close enough for canister. Um, so 2d6. Um, I'm going to get to re-roll, but apart because of the enfilade down the flank. But apart from that, not a lot else. So I'm going to be hitting. Oh, I'm fighting the attack column, so I'm hitting on freeze. I can reroll back. So the enfilade. It's two hits. That's going to be two saves of. No. No. So it's two <laughs> casualties on that unit. And we'll finish things off with this combat. So, Ken, you are going to get seven dice. How do you want to split your attacks? Because you can't put more than half to your flank. Yeah, I'll go half and half then. So you Actually, can... no, I'll go all front. All front? I'll go all front and destroy them. I'll put them all <laughs> to the front. All to the front. Okay, so you've got seven to the front. You're shaken, so that's minus one. So you are hitting on fives. Actually, looking for fives. Uh, three hits. Hanoverians won the last round of combat. They've got the commander in there with them. So they've got seven dice and they're looking for threes. Uh, all but two, so that's five. And now we'll do the Highlanders. So the Highlanders are gonna get six dice. They've got ferocious charge, so they get to reroll all misses on the first round of combat. So they're charging, so they're hitting on threes, rerolling all misses. That's if I didn't even need to reroll. <laughs> that's every single one. <laughs> um, okay, so um, that's 11. So you need 11 saves of four. Okay, 11 saves of four. Uh, that was really good. So you only took two. Jesus. That's like the best roll you've made all game. <laughs> so you only took two. That's stunning. I need three saves of two. All saved. Um, so you obviously, you've lost the combat. You've lost by... A two, you're in excess by two, um, but that's it. So you're rolling 2d6 minus two. Uh, eight. <laughs> no, they stay, they stay there, and that would go on into another round, but that is it. That is the, the end of the battle. It's a bit of a slugfest, definitely. Jesus. Two waves of the battle. Um, we will go away and have a look at the victory points, and we'll be back to you in a second. Okay, so that was... That was Pretty bloody close, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so Ken destroyed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units for fourteen points. He now I still have one, two, two shaken units on the board, so he finished on sixteen points. Yeah. I destroyed or broke five units. Annoyingly, those ones didn't quite get off the field, which gives me ten points. Um, I still have that objective there, which gives me 15. Then I've got um, 16, 17, 18, 19. So 19, 15 to the Allies. Um, so yeah, an absolute bloodbath. Blood One of the bloodiest <laughs> battles we fought, definitely. Um, but again, it just we just wanted to do something a little bit different and just show again how you can have an unbalanced game, but by having a different type of scenario. Yeah. So in this case, yeah, in this case, 
an assault. I only had three brigades, but I was able to hold out for quite a while. Um, obviously, the saves on the fortification help quite a lot when you're attacking that. Yeah, definitely a lot when you're helping with that. Um, and obviously the building, but it's not impossible. I mean, what do you think of the scenario? I mean, how do you think it, it played out? Or no, was the scenario it... played really well. It's just, I, obviously, I wasn't getting the rolls over here. Um, they, I didn't lose any of my Italian units. No, it's all there. It's no, all there. no, it was just the building. Just the, the building, building. the building stood. But to be fair, that, that's the point. It's hard to to remove people from that kind Definitely. of situation. But um, what do you uh, you know? Is there anything you'd have done differently? Uh, what? Well, so, apart from win. Uh, yeah, I probably thought. <laughs> well, it's difficult because I didn't bring my old guard in first on purpose. Um, but I actually think we we joked about it in the game. But yeah. I think that was actually quite good because the unit, I know the old guard are pretty good, but the units had already suffered, so they couldn't even stand up to the old guard when the old guard came across because no, they sucked up. The, the others were designed to suck up the, the wounds. That was. I mean, you I did. Did, you did get some really unlucky rolls on your brigade orders. So but only I rolled that first one. I know the, 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 brig <laughs> the, brig the brigade orders didn't didn't come together that well. For Ken and obviously I'm not having to roll for orders because no. uh, I'm you know I'm defending a position um, but again we didn't use any points we just kind of threw together a scenario based it on one that um, myself and Haley had already played um, and then just went from there so yeah anyway well, I hope you guys all enjoyed that we both do um, remember to go and check out miniature wargaming warriors channel here's the link to Ken's channel is below where you can find out how he's sort of organized all this this French army I mean if you want to see that after it just got paid across the board we did get paid mine's really nice I'll put a little uh, link to it in. yeah I'll put a little link to it a little link to it here which you can see in the top of the screen um, and um, I will uh, of course there'll be some more black powder later on and um, there's also some more Wars of the Roses coming so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did give the video a like um, and as always comment down below I'm sure there'll be there's a couple of places where we got some rules wrong um, I think as we say there was one moment on the board where we had over 600 models um, so it can just be a bit hard at times keeping track of everything but the main thing is we just tried to be consistent anyway we will uh, we will see you guys all again soon take care we'll see you guys soon bye bye